Welcome to the Simpler Business Podcast, where we talk about ways to do what you love and serve your people in a way that brings you income and freedom. I'm your host, Marissa Roberts. Join me as I chat with my favorite entrepreneurs about how they simplify their biz so that you can simplify yours. This episode is for you if you've ever had thoughts like, what am I doing wrong? I feel like an imposter. What if this won't work? Or am I good enough? If you feel irritated, frustrated, ashamed, guilty, undeserving, or overwhelmed as an entrepreneur, if you're not yet making the amount of money you are hoping for, if you don't have enough clients yet, or if you worry that your offers, pricing, niche, or strategy aren't quite right yet. Or maybe you're wondering whether you're focusing on the right things at the right time to grow your business, build your team, and lead like a CEO. If any of these feelings are familiar to you, it's time for a perception shift. It's not what you're doing that makes a big difference to your business results. It's how you're thinking and feeling about it and then the actions you take based on that. Imagine how your business and life would change if you could rewire the hidden emotional and mindset blocks that are keeping you from making the money you desire and getting the results that you want. If your goal is to have a thriving, growing business, clients that are a joy to work with, and a positive impact on people's lives, you are going to love our guest today. Rebel Transformative Leader Louisa Ferrario helps fellow entrepreneurs set up a thriving business and make the money they desire by having in place an impactful mindset, structure, and leadership model to rapidly grow their company and joyfully lead a team of rock stars. She's the founder and CEO of LF Consulting, a groundbreaking organization which specializes in unmasking the hidden forces, leading teams and organizations, and removing the last obstacles that prevent you from going to the next level of fulfillment and profitability. And today, she's here to talk about the three powerful aspects to rapidly grow your business. Louisa, welcome. I am so excited that you're here today. Thank you. Thank you, Marisa. Hi, everybody. Good morning, good evening, good night. <laughs> <laughs> We're in totally Whatever different time zones. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I am in Cyprus. That is uh, an island uh, in the Mediterranean Sea. And uh, you are in Australia. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It still amazes me how much we can do now. Now that we have the internet and such good resources, it's more affordable than ever before to run a successful business. And I think it's really interesting. Yeah. And I'm glad you're on the show today because that's the thing. A lot of people think that it's the technology or tools that are holding them back for the success in their business. But I actually don't think that's the case. I think a lot no. of it is to do with internal stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. If I think back, uh, um, let's let's see, uh, uh, how far was it? Uh, probably 2008, um, I was just starting this business. I have been uh, in business for 25 years, but this business uh, uh, has been uh, going on for the last uh, 15, 16 years. And I was just, I was just starting and... Uh, I already knew that I wanted uh, uh, a business that could be uh, done uh, um, with me taking care of my daughter because she was uh, a little kid back then and now she's 26 or so. She's an independent, beautiful woman. And uh, and so I was organizing myself and I was having my calls uh, on the phone because uh, we didn't have the technology that we have right now. And um, I remember that... Uh, mm, in, uh, I'm Italian, originally I'm Italian, uh, and uh, internet was not uh, yet uh, so popular as it is right now. And uh, I anyway wanted to have uh, my um, mentors uh, and my trainers uh, come from uh, um, the place in the world where coaching uh, was uh, um, was born. That was the, the were the United States, and so. United States and Canada. And so I remember that I had those long calls uh, for trainings uh, with, the, with the phone when, uh, when the rates for phones were much higher than now. Because, you know, 
when it used to charge per minute sometimes oh yeah exactly but I was so determined uh, uh, I was so so envisioning the kind of lifestyle that I wanted for myself for my daughter for my family and for my business uh, and so uh, I chose to do that exactly that yeah and I think it's really, really worth it. It's opened up a whole new world to me. When I left corporate to start my own business, it was the same sort of thing. You know, back then, I think I started, it was around 2011 that I started my first business. And it was just when things like blogging was getting really big and YouTube was just starting to gain traction. And I thought to myself, this is amazing that we have these tools. And then you cut to now and, you know, we have Zoom and we have podcasts. You can do a podcast in a matter of 20 minutes and have it up and have people around the world listening to it. I just think that is amazing and it really just the potential that we have to reach and help more people or connect and relate to more people amazing amazing absolutely yeah yeah and you were mentioning uh mindset of course uh, uh, those tools are available to everyone but not everyone uses them because uh most of the times uh, we have resistances that that are hindering us back uh, uh, from doing certain kind of actions and sometimes uh, our consciousness and our awareness is so blind because of those uh, inner limitations uh, that we do not we do not literally see the opportunities that we have in front of our nose so <laughs> mindset is amazing because of that yeah yeah that's so true so why do you think then people struggle with those internal blocks why why where do you think they come from why do they pop up why do we have so much trouble believing in what we can do well, I've studied those things for a long time. <laughs> and just to make the long story short, I can share with you that uh, um, since uh, we, uh, e- even before uh, we, we come into the world, so into the physical world, even when we are in the womb, uh, um, we are still, uh, we, we are already um, absorbing information from our environment. So um, there are certain things uh, that are so ingrained and so embodied in our physical structure. And and stop me if I say things that are too difficult because I I can uh, no you <laughs> I wouldn't. can shift okay okay. <laughs> I, I can be uh, I can I can say that uh, in a in a simple way, but anyway, um, so things that are so um, ingrained in us, so uh, uh, interwoven with uh, all our structure uh, that um, till we are seven years old, uh, we are like sponges, so we can absorb everything. So this is so important uh, to know, especially for uh, parents uh, who still have kids uh, under that age, uh, because uh, um, we have to be very careful about the kind of messages uh, we give them. And messages, uh, especially those that are that then become part of our bodies, uh, um, are not just uh, things that we tell them are things that they see us doing. And so it is very critical that we walk the talk. So when I when I talk about leadership, especially with, uh, uh, with entrepreneurs, uh, I make sure that we are on the same page. So leadership basically is the way we uh, guide ourselves uh, in the world is about the message, the core message that we, um, that we um, have inside of us. Uh, and that we express uh, through that amazing uniqueness that we are. And this should be in, in alignment uh, with our businesses, especially if we are service-based entrepreneurs uh, like me, like you. So if in, in a way our business uh, uh, is a sort of um, projection of uh, who we are as human beings, and so it, in, in that case, uh, our mindset it is even more important uh, because also when we work with our clients, uh, we um, transfer our mindset and uh, emotions are, are uh, sticky, <laughs> mm. <laughs> are contagious. And uh, this means that even uh, without uh, talking about emotions, uh, they uh, they speak uh, between one human being and the other 
um, their uh, reciprocal emotions uh, speak one to each other. And uh, so if we are not authentic and we do not show uh, with, uh, with confidence uh, our vulnerable uh, places uh, inside or uh, outside in terms of how we act uh, or how, I don't know, uh, we talk about a lot of body shame uh, lately and so on and so forth. So if we are not comfortable with that, uh, um, it's better if we um, verbalize that uh, in, in some way, you know, because sometimes uh, it might be very awkward or weird uh, when we want to hide uh, things. And so, um, back to your question, uh, um, there are a lot of parts of mindset, such as beliefs, uh, such as habits, uh, uh, such as uh, the, the way we judge ourselves and we judge others uh, that are uh, formed uh, when we are very, very young. And uh, those uh, um, are then uh, uh, into our subconscious mind or unconscious mind. And uh, um, we needed to have specific tools uh, that can hack specific, um, the specific way those uh, beliefs, uh, habits, and thoughts are, um, uh, are kept into ourselves. And, uh, and then uh, when, um, and then there are others that we, mm, we develop uh, during our, uh, teenager, uh, our uh, adulthood, or uh, our um, uh, oh my god, <laughs> like in our young adult uh, life as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Okay, but let's say between a ten uh, and and twenty years, mm. um, and uh, so in 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 those are uh, easier to unlock those are easier to transform you can easily transform them with a specific way of talking to the person uh, asking specific questions that are open-ended questions uh, uh, so they are much easier to 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 treat and to uh in a way um how can i say melt away because the problem uh, um with uh uh, with emotions and with mindset is that uh, uh, they form a, a sort of um, um, a, a sort of a ice uh, around uh, things that we wanted to protect. So, uh, when, uh, like the icing that we have, uh, you know, over the muffins. <laughs> Yeah, like but a layer. This, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but this this layer of uh, of ice uh, is around uh, this. Um, particular uh, thought, uh, this particular emotion, uh, and we have to use so much energy uh, in order to keep those uh, structures alive uh, in our subconscious, uh, but those energy cannot be used uh, to grow ourselves, uh, to grow our businesses, or even to be fulfilled and to enjoy our lifestyle uh, or to enjoy our success, because this is another huge, uh, um, uh, huge obstacle that a lot of entrepreneurs uh, have to face. This morning, I was talking to someone uh, uh, who um, is starting a, a a program with me, one of my programs, and uh, um, she she has a business that thrives, and she has been so so successful. But her business um, has grown so fast in the past one year that she is scared to death. She's mm. scared that she can lose everything in just you know like that. And so this is another kind of uh, of things that entrepreneurs uh, uh, might need to, to to face. So someone called those uh, happy problems, but they are problems for the person who 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 is feeling that and who who has this kind of uh, um, um, uh, let's say uh, yeah, mindset that uh, is uh, blocking her or 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 him. Uh, 
this is a, a huge uh, a huge obstacle because she was having panic attacks a, a few weeks ago because of that because yeah. every week she thinks uh, how can i pay all the 12 people that are on my payroll but she she has nothing she, she has she had nothing so far to um to complain or she didn't have to face uh, any kind of struggle in terms of money and but but she ha- for sure she has uh, obstacles that uh, go back to another time uh, of her life uh, that are on a complete pro- probably they are on a completely different layer uh, than the business and so yeah we will we will see <laughs> that's amazing yeah that's such a good point because you know a lot of us they we compartmentalize everything and we think, oh, our life is different from our business. But you're right. It's actually not because all, whatever's no. happened to her in her past has now affected the way she thinks about what she's doing now. And I can see where I can see where, where she would be struggling because when you first start your business and you grow that quickly, you've got nothing to lose at the start, right? Nothing. Yeah, so yeah. you're more relaxed, you're excited about what you're doing, you love what you're doing, and that energy would come through when you're talking to your clients and customers. And then if you get to a certain level of success and then you have team members relying on you for their you know, yeah. level of lifestyle and be able to pay their bills, I can see why all of a sudden she's oh my gosh, now I have a lot of things that I could lose if it goes yeah. wrong. Nothing's even going yeah. wrong, but she's still like, but what if it goes wrong in the future? Yeah. Yeah, I bet she's, she would not be the only one struggling with that. <laughs> I bet there are thousands of business owners with the exact same problem that never even thought about, hang on a minute, all this worry when it's not actually happening, it's probably just coming from some experience I've had somewhere else in the past. And it's like my subconscious is wanting to protect me from feeling that way again. Oh my goodness. That's so, that's so interesting about how it all intertwines together. Yeah. So you, you probably already know that, but uh, some literature reports that, uh, almost 98% of what we feel and what we think is not ours mm-hmm. are things that we pick up from our environment, from our past, from things that we watch on television, on YouTube, or any kind of uh, you know, uh, thing that we consume, uh, things that we read. So um, it's fascinating when we then start to to work uh, uh, to to grow the business uh, and 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 to lower uh, the stress that comes from uh, a mindset that is not supportive. So let's say what we call a scarcity mindset and a scarcity emotion set. So I talk about mindset, emotion set, and energy set. And uh, um, it's fascinating because uh, amazing things happen. And you, you tell yourself, well, wh- wh- what's that? <laughs> it is as if by magic, <laughs> what happened? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's so true. And I find that really interesting, those three things, because I've heard of mindset before, but I haven't heard of emotional set and energy set. But I can see how three different factors there would influence your business outcomes because they're going to influence the actions that you're going to take, right? So, do you want to tell us a exactly. little bit more about those three? Exactly. Uh, I will. I will tell you in a minute about those three. I just want to add that uh, those three then lead to a fourth one that is the mm-hmm. skill set, and that leads to the action set. So, it's a set of five it- five items that that are in that are interconnected. And uh, everything starts with the mindset. And uh, as I was saying before, mindset is so key because uh, um, it, uh, we basically are our mindset. Uh, so uh, there are researches uh, uh, on uh, quantum physics, uh, neuro, um, uh, neuro leadership uh, uh, that uh, tells us that uh, um, basically we are... Uh, what we think mm. i know it, it, it might sound weird uh, and some some people might not believe that is true but it's science uh, that is also i mean this is something that even seven thousand years ago 
uh, the Indian culture was already writing uh, about. But we, we know that we do not want to, uh, to believe uh, in things that uh, are not uh, proven, uh, that are not uh, uh, researched. But in the last uh, um, 25, 30 years, uh, those researchers uh, uh, have been uh, of a huge support uh, in order to uh, confirm uh, uh, those ancient traditions uh, and those ancient truths, I would say. And uh, so basically we are our mindset and uh, uh, the work that uh, we do in, in, in my company with, with uh, entrepreneurs uh, is basically based 80% on, on mindset because if you do not unlock certain levels on mindset, uh, uh, you, you cannot then... Uh, um, unlock the emotion set, the energy set, the skill set, and the action set, okay? Oh, yeah. And uh, the key to unlock that is intentionality. So I talk about uh, intentional leadership. And again, leadership is not just leadership because uh, we lead a team, we lead a company, we lead ourselves first and foremost. And uh, if we do not take uh, care of the kind of... Uh, uh, thoughts uh, that we have, uh, the quality of our um, judgments. Uh, it's not that thoughts, judgments are wrong. Uh, uh, there is nothing wrong and there is nothing right. There are just things that are functional to certain kind of outcomes uh, that we wanted to see in our lives uh, and other things that are not. So it's not that uh, this is uh, probably a good point also to share um, because uh, when we think about uh, I'm wrong, this kind of assumption uh, really doesn't make any sense on a, a rational level. Because if we think that the world is just black and white, of course, I'm wrong, uh, you are right, and so on and so forth. But if we think that the world uh, is full of opportunities, full of possibilities, is actually... Um, people are uh, fully gifted and uh, um, created as a whole. And we can just uh, learn how to tap into our full potential and to pick the things uh, that we really need. Then we can uh, learn how to be intentional. And the more we learn how to be intentional, the more uh, we create awareness and choices just um, are, so uh, quality choices uh, are possible just when we have uh, awareness. It is not the, the, the other way around. So some people think that we choose and then we have awareness. It's not like that. We are aware and so we can choose deliberately. We can choose intentionally and so on and so forth. Mm. So emotions basically um, are uh, so so much interwoven with the uh, uh, mindset uh, and so we can uh, even think about them uh, as uh, a whole thing you know and uh, uh, because if I think about I don't know um, a person that I care uh, for and I think uh, that she is well uh, uh, this is a thought and this thought uh, um, has uh, an impact uh, on the way I react uh, to that thought and uh, if I think that this person uh, might have troubles in this moment, uh, I start to become anxious. I start to be preoccupied. I started to worry about. I started to have a, 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 a whole bunch of emotions uh, that are a reaction. So basically, emotions are the output of the way we, are, we react uh, to everything we think, and uh, everything we see. Uh, is processed by our mindset and become become a thought become a thought and so a thought uh, um, when we have a thought uh, then uh, we that can also be an image not not just uh, uh, words uh, or or sounds uh, then uh, um, this uh, then we, we we react to that so I talk about uh, uh, emotional ownership so this means that we learn uh, we can learn uh, how to own our emotions because uh, we choose how to respond to the thoughts that we have. So if I think I'm wrong, 
I can become very anxious uh, and have a panic attack or whatever. Uh, or I, I can think, uh, you know, uh, on, on the, the whole spectrum of possibility that we have, uh, I can be a total um, uh, uninterested in the thought itself. Uh, or I can, I can take this thought uh, and uh, observe this thought and then think, uh, how is this thought serving me? Mm. Because this might be a, a, a good point. It, it, might, it might be that there, there is a truth in that thought, you know. But most of the times, especially when we have uh, the, the thoughts that you mentioned at uh, the very beginning, uh, that usually are under the umbrella of imposter syndrome, it's because uh, uh, it's like our mind chewing <laughs> the, same <laughs> the same food over and over again. And so there are specific processes that we use, that we can use uh, to stop uh, the chewing of the mind and mm -hmm. to uh, when we can interrupt uh, those circles uh, of, let's say, endless uh, and useless, <laughs> in a way, <laughs> thoughts, uh, um, then uh, uh, we can unlock new possibilities, new opportunities. Uh, we can uh, see um things as they are so we can uh we can uh, uh see facts and we can see how we react to facts and then when we have that uh, we can also choose uh, what kind of uh, um energy we wanted to feel we wanted to have uh, and so when we talk about energy we actually talk about um the vibration that everything in our lives uh, um, uh, has uh, and uh, uh, the more this vibration uh, is high and so the higher uh, this this vibration is uh, um, the more uh, the not the more the closer we are uh, to an abundant uh, an abundant mindset and yeah. abundant output and so on and so forth and also to fulfillment because as I was saying uh, a while ago, we might be very successful on, uh, on a business growth. Uh, we can be very successful uh, uh, on a financial side, uh, both business and personal. Uh, we can be very successful uh, on the family side, uh, on the health side. And uh, for instance, I have a chronic illness. So, oh, it, okay, this is something that I have to deal with. Uh, and who says that if, because I have uh, this illness, uh, I can be successful. No, this is this is this is some, something that I do not accept. I just want to be successful, and I am successful. But anyway, um, so the point is that uh, um, we might not be satisfied mm -hmm. uh, for, for thousands of reasons. And uh, so when we are in a in an abundance mindset, and when we are in an abundance of uh, vibration. So when our vibration is very high, um, then uh, we can uh, really be in the flow of things. And uh, we, we can really enjoy our lives. And we can enjoy our successes, uh, our businesses, uh, because I don't see the point uh, to be successful on all the other uh, uh, layers, uh, and not to, to be able uh, to enjoy success. Yeah. yeah. So, so it's like the thought happens first. We start with the thought and then that's the mindset. And then that thought or our mindset then affects how we emotionally feel about it. And then that emotion yeah. affects our energy and the vibration of the space around us. And that's why yeah. you can either spiral really quickly or if things are going well it just seems like things get better and better and better and better and better because it's all intertwined with each other that's amazing absolutely absolutely it is exactly like that thanks for the synthesis <laughs> wow that just blows my mind because I can think of examples in my life and my business where one thing one tiny thing went wrong and then the whole day was horrible right and then I can think of other times when things felt so easy and I look back and think wow you know it's like 
It's like when people say you get up on the wrong side of the bed and then everything else goes wrong. That makes so much sense now when I think of it in terms of mindset, emotional and energy. Wow. Yeah. That's huge. So actually, we can take the pressure off. We don't have to have the solution to everything, right, in our business. Absolutely. we just no. got to focus on our thoughts and feelings and the rest flows from there. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and we, we, we needed to be a little bit more conscious that we usually are. And uh, again, there are tools that help uh, with that uh, and that uh, teaches us uh, how to deal with uh, our emotional responses uh, mm-hmm. because uh, um, it is much, um, it is, uh, it is uh, more difficult uh, to, uh, to, to shift the mindset. Uh, Mm-hmm. than uh, to uh, learn how to deal with our emotional response. And once we deal, we, we learned how to deal with our emotional response, uh, as a consequence, uh, the mindset uh, that um, uh, is not serving us uh, melts away and shifts and transforms itself uh, in something different that is absolutely useful uh, to our cause uh, and to our outputs to to what we wish to uh, to have in our lives yeah yeah okay so in that case then for our listeners who are going okay that's really good for my life but how do I translate mindset and motion set and energy set into specifically business is that when you work with clients do you say to them no they're all together you can't do this for life and this for business everything is is kind of combined or like if you get a client that comes to you and says no I just need my business to grow faster so how does mindset and emotion set and energy set help my business grow where do you tell them to start what what should they do first uh, that that's uh, that's a good question. Uh, today I, I was live uh, on uh, on Facebook uh, and YouTube and and LinkedIn uh, and uh, the the answer uh, the sorry the, the question that I answered was uh, where do you start when you want to grow your business? <laughs> oh wow! What were the chances? <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So this is really fun. Uh, so where do you start? You start uh, um, from making space. That's my answer. What does it mean? It means that uh, um, when things uh, are going too slow or when things get stuck, that is another uh, option, Mm -hmm. or when things uh, um, go, uh, let's say, wrong. I do not really like the word wrong, but anyway, let's use uh, the word. This is because uh, um, there is not enough space uh, for different things and new things uh, that usually are bigger things uh, to come to us. Mm -hmm. And so most of the times that we have those strong desires of having a certain kind of business, a certain size of business, a certain size of team, a certain uh, certain kind of figures uh, on our bank account. Uh, but we as beings uh, um, are not enough spacious to contain uh, uh, what we are desiring, what we are wishing for. So uh, we need to make space. We need to make space uh, in the way we think. We need to make, because we we don't realize that, but we have a lot of clutter that uh, by time to time we need to take care and we need to put in the right places. That is, you know, bins, (laughs) (laughs) crashes. And again, uh, we have to learn how to do that because otherwise uh, uh, it, it, it just, stay there stays there where, where it is and um so we have clutter uh on uh, on a thought level we have clutter on the emotional level usually a lot of we have clutter um in our physical environment sometimes uh, we surround ourselves uh, with things that do not serve our growth Mm. Uh, sometimes we might have uh, around people uh, who are not the best choice uh, uh, to be around uh, because they might have their own uh, reasons uh, uh, to be uh, like they are, uh, but they might not be a contribution in our lives and in our businesses. 
uh, we might um, have, uh, uh, we might wanted to make space uh, um, in our uh, business system, for instance, because we might, uh, it, so the case could be that we have so softwares that are not appropriate for the kind of growth that we are envisioning. Uh, we might not have hired yet uh, uh, the first person uh, in, in our team. And this is a huge mistake that a lot of entrepreneurs do. They wait too long to hire the first, their, their first employee. I, I'm not talking about someone who uh, you have uh, on a payroll. I'm just talking about a contractor who could be, who could be a VA, for instance, uh, uh, or a personal assistant uh, uh, that can help you with small tasks. But um, if we do not, the clutter, uh, the number of um, of hours that we have on our uh, on our calendar, uh, because we want uh, or we have uh, to do everything uh, by ourselves, uh, that that becomes a huge, a huge uh, uh, heaviness that prevents us uh, to to grow the business. Mm -hmm. And so there are several things uh, that we, we want to consider. There could be habits that we needed to declutter because they might be um, up, um, outdated. And so uh, we need to update them. So this is the, the point uh, where everything starts. And so uh, what I uh, help uh, uh, people do uh, so the first session, for instance, uh, of our uh, accelerators uh, is uh, a session when we uh, have a look uh, at the strengths that are in our um, in our toolkit. Mm. Uh, so we are born with specific gifts and talents, even if they are hidden, even if they are maybe not yet completely formed, we have them. And it is much easier to invest uh, in what we already have uh, because it's there. And uh, if it is there and it is a talent, it is a gift, uh, it, it will serve us uh, in a very easy and uh, um, quick uh, way than uh, anything else that we need to build on purpose. So it's much easier if, we, if what we do not have... Uh, we get that uh, because we surround ourselves uh, with pe people in, uh, on our team uh, that can provide those things that we uh, that we lack. It's not that because we lack, we need to have them. We need to have them in the team, but we we do not need to have them in order to uh, uh, grow those skills. Uh, because sometimes growing a skill uh, might take uh, uh, a while, uh, and so the learning curve uh, might be not always uh, uh, so short and uh, um, you know it, again if you are intentional uh, uh, you make a choice and uh, so you you choose if you want to invest your own time or if you want to uh, go quicker and uh, uh, hire someone who can do what you need uh, to do in your business for a specific part of your business and you do uh, your jam, you do what you are really meant to do. That is what we call the zone of genius. And so we start from there uh, because once we know what our strengths are and how to invest in them, how to develop them, how to be more uh, um, aware of them, then uh, everything be uh, everything becomes uh, easier. easier. Definitely, yeah. yeah. That makes sense, actually. If I think to myself, if I spend my whole time in my business just running it by myself, I'm never going to have time to do everything. And I'm going to get yeah. so caught up in the little things day to day that take hours and hours that I could delegate to a contractor or a VA. That would free up my space and my mental energy to think about the big picture of my business then, wouldn't it? Absolutely. So, that, that step alone is a huge one. And you're right. Most entrepreneurs, especially in the first one to three years of their business, they feel like I shouldn't outsource anything because I don't have enough money yet. But actually, when you don't outsource anything, 
you're so busy doing all the tiny little things that your business can't really grow because you can't be the face of your business or you can't do the things that are going to get you in front of people because you're so busy working behind the scenes. There's such a big change that you can make just by changing the way you think about who you are in your own business. That's amazing. Exactly, exactly. I remember uh, that uh, when I was uh, a teenager uh, and I was uh, um, uh, doing the uh, the journey to have my driving license, uh, um, my boyfriend uh, um, gave me a, a good point to think about. So he told me that uh, uh, if I wanted to avoid uh, to go uh, uh, to crash into the car that was in front of me, uh, I, I had to stop uh, to look at the end of my car. I had to look <laughs> away more, away, uh, away further than, than my car and to have the big picture. And this is an amazing example <laughs> of how leadership works uh, uh, when you want to grow your business. So there is uh, the vision uh, and then there is a strategic vision. A strategic vision uh, means that uh, you have to space from uh, one point to the other and sometimes even beyond, uh, uh, even behind, because, uh, um, because you, you, you should be the one who has... Uh, um, who controls uh, what going uh, what is going on uh, uh, everywhere and uh, who who picks uh, things that uh, are really uh, uh, key in order to grow the business and if you are so much into the operations uh, if you just look where your car that is the business ends uh, because when you are so much into operations this is what happens uh, you don't go anywhere you you just you just crash it. <laughs> That's so true. And I can remember when I was learning to drive, it was the exact same thing. The first couple of lessons I was thinking about how am I going to stay in the middle of the road? How do I turn on the blinker? How do I turn on the 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 window wipers? And and but actually I needed to look at the whole world in front of me and just focus on getting to my destination. And everything else just kind of starts to take care of itself. And it's hard to put exactly. that into words, isn't it? Because things just things just start to happen. Things just momentum yeah. starts to build. It's exactly. Important. They fall into place. Yeah, yeah, by themselves. Because uh, uh, it's um, if Einstein was right, uh, we as observers <laughs> influence what happens. And so if we keep uh, um, uh, keep having our eyes uh, uh, on all the small things. Uh, we do not. We do not see where. I mean, we just have a pair of eyes. We just have two eyes. <laughs> <laughs> we can't do everything and see everything in the tiny detail. Yeah. So we need to let that go. We need to to really focus on what we're thinking, how we're feeling, and then the energy that that's putting out around us. And we're going to start to see much better results because we won't be stuck in the in the thick of every little tiny thing anymore. And yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's so exactly. freeing. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I was just saying that, uh, for instance, during my week, uh, I have a specific time uh, that is a uh, uh, Friday afternoon that uh, I just keep free. And uh, I just dedicate that time uh, uh, to lead the business. I just dedicate that time uh, to um, grow my leadership and to think about new projects, uh, think about to strategize, uh, to grow the strategic vision. Otherwise, uh, uh, I fall uh, as everybody else into details uh, and it doesn't help uh, nobody, basically. Yeah. yeah. That sounds like a really good action that people could take straight away after listening to this yeah. episode. They could put some time yeah. aside, actually book it into their calendar every week so they don't forget yeah. to do it like it's an appointment and then actually sit and think of the big picture vision and the strategic vision of their business. I love that as a first step. And I know, Louisa, we're going to have a lot of interview, a lot of listeners want to take a next step with you because this has been really, really eye-opening in terms of how we look at our approach to running our business. So for anybody out there who wants to do a little more with you, who wants to find out more about mindset, emotion set, and energy set, where can they find you? Should they go to your website first or your socials? Uh, so, yeah, uh, about social, I am uh, on Facebook and I am on LinkedIn. Uh, 
Uh, I also have an Instagram account, but I really do not use uh, it uh, that much. And uh, I have my own website that is luisaferrario.com. So it's very, very easy to find. And uh, I also um, would, uh, uh, I also invite uh, uh, our listener to um, ask for uh, uh, one of uh, the free resources uh, that, uh, that we have uh, uh, available that is called uh, uh, 91 ways uh, you might be leaving money on the table. And uh, I think that that resource is really uh, eye opening. And uh, if then they want to have a, a, a 28, uh, 28 day training, uh, uh, that is uh, kind of a weird thing to do because it's very different than mantras and stuff like that, that I, that I adore, but this is different. Um, then we have another resource and they, they can ask for that. It's free resource as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that sounds wonderful. So there's plenty of steps they can take now. They don't have to just go, okay, now I've heard about this. What am I going to do? <laughs> You've got a whole pathway <laughs> that they can follow. I've actually got that 91 ways that you might be leaving money on the table resource. And I remember I first opened it and I thought, oh, this is the perfect example of big picture thinking. When I'm stuck in the in the little details of my business, I forget about all of those things on your list. And they're all things that can make such a really big difference to the, the growth and success of your business and things going well in your life too. So, yeah, that's yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'll make yeah. sure that I leave well- links. That, so yeah, can- one of one of the ways uh, you can you uh, you not just you <laughs> everybody can use uh, this list is also in a let's say a proactive way. So not just to read through the through the the list uh, and think, uh, oh my god, I'm doing that. Oh my god, I'm doing that. Oh my god. So that will depress. <laughs> Don't feel bad <laughs> you know? if you do no, it. <laughs> no, no, no. So w- w- uh, one of the things I, I created this list for me first and foremost, because I'm, 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 I am my first client, always, <laughs> I can tell you. Mm-hmm. And uh, um, so uh, there are days uh, where uh, I might have my own thoughts going around. So I just open the list uh, and I let my finger go exactly on something that might have uh, an answer for me. And once I am there, I sort of uh, uh, meditate for a few seconds uh, on what I'm reading uh, in that line. Mm-hmm. And uh, I see what kind of message there is for me. And then I take action. Oh, that's amazing. That's such a good way to use that resource. I'm going to do that too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for being here today. This has been such a mind opening conversation and I'm really excited to explore that further. And I know a lot of our listeners will be too. So thank you so much, Louisa, for being here. Thank you too. Thank you for having me. And uh, I hope that, uh, um, yeah, I hope that uh, there, there has been uh, um, value and uh, action-based value on, on what we, we shared. And uh, I'm super hoping to meet your listener <laughs> and, uh, and, and keep our conversation going, of course. Wonderful. Of course. Absolutely. Okay, everybody, if you have enjoyed this conversation, make sure you go over and visit Louisa's website so that you can check out more about those three factors and more. So mindset, energy set and emotion set. Oh, I got them in the wrong order. Mindset, emotion and energy. (laughs) And then delve even deeper because I guarantee you it's going to help you in ways that you can't even imagine now. So I'll make sure the links are in the show notes and I will see you all in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Simpler Business Podcast. If you did, please subscribe, rate, and review us on Apple Podcasts. There's a link in the show notes to make it nice and easy for you, just the way we like it. If you're ready to simplify and scale your business, you can get started with my free audio class at marissaroberts.com. See you next time.